swelling cities, shifting climates and natural disasters, the challenges are unprecedented. So the World Bank Group is taking unprecedented steps to meet those challenges, ramping up support for infrastructure projects. Funding has increased almost fivefold over the last decade, from 7 to 30 billion dollars, to improve water, energy, information and transportation systems. Along with the increased funds comes a new strategy to get the most benefit from each dollar. This solar power plant in Morocco, partially funded by the World Bank, provides both energy and employment. Uh, ممكن اذهب اي شركه اقول لها اني خدمتي في تيبي فابور يعني اول بروجي The bank group will also involve more private sector financing. In Lagos, the World Bank and a private partner funded a bus system that turns long commutes into easy rides. Every day, every day, every second so I'm moving now from here down to Ireland, this is what I use. Every day. Better roads cheaper energy and other improvements benefit businesses and spur growth that reaches beyond national borders. Infrastructure programs also help countries recover after disasters. In Haiti, devastated by an earthquake, new information technology maps out safe spots for rebuilding, so houses are less likely to be damaged by future quakes or floods. A reduire l'impact au niveau de la population qui se trouve dans les zones à risque, à réduire également euh, l'impact vital donc de toute la communauté. Infrastructure programs are about the big picture and the long term. But at the center, it is still about individuals and helping transform people's lives. <laughs>